L'histoire d'amour entre Ray et le pilotage dure depuis pas mal d'années. Et qu'est-ce qui fait la base de la compagnie des vieilles machines volantes What do you think of your son as a pilot? He's not here. He's all right. He's, uh, I'd say, better than average. Apart from being a good seat of the pants pilot, he puts his mind to it as well. Mm -hmm. um, I see him flying now at 65, and I've watched him flying very hard as I've got older with a critical eye, to be honest, to see if I see any sign of deterioration, and there's absolutely none. When we've played at air combat together, he always wins. So I can't speak highly enough of him. And that's not just as a son saying it. Most other pilots that fly with us acknowledge that as well. It's very much a friend. It's very much a kind, warm friend, if you like. It's a, the Spitfire is a beautiful airplane to fly. There's nothing else that can quite compare with it. Spitfires, and I particularly love our Mark 9. It's not a perfect flying airplane, and, and some things of that could be improved, but you love it for the history, and uh, undoubtedly it made history, and undoubtedly the young men flying them were making and changing history as well. That's the reason I think that it's most important to keep these airplanes flying. Because when they're just in a hangar sitting there, the, 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 a large element of that time machine factor, I feel, is lost because they're not living anymore. The spirit of flying has changed, particularly since the days of computers, EFIS systems, fly-by-wire. Uh, to a large degree, I feel, certainly in the airline world, that the seat of pants thing is going or perhaps gone. Is it a bad thing? Uh, it's only a bad thing if you're an aviator that flies from the heart. <laughs>